Like not all of them, but a lot of them. A lot. They love to do their videos in the in the woods. You know. What do you think that's about? I don't know. Quincy, we are going on a road trip. Woo! Yes, absolutely. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smell up. What up? Um, every time you run, mm -hmm. every time you drive, Mm -hmm. Every time I look fly, at, fly. Yeah, every time I fly, I like to get the window seat mm -hmm. and look out and see the clouds below, and I, I pretend I got magical powers and wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll proceed. Um, every time I sit here and watch amazing music with you. Ah, yeah. What else we got? Every time I lie. Close, close. That, that's your gig. <laughs> Every time I die. What about that? You got it, my friend. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. Because that's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you right down in the comment section. Also over on patreon and today we got another wonderful suggestion from one of our wonderful patreon members who goes by the name of poison, poison. yes shout out to you poison because you are a loyal patreon member and mm -hmm. you have sent us over a band that i have never seen or heard of you haven't i saw it in the suggestions have you pretty sure yeah hmm. the children of bottom badam bottom, bottom? Bottom or Badam? Badam or Bodom? Bodom, maybe. You know anything about that? Like Lake Bottom, where the, the murders happen, maybe? Huh. I don't know. Dang. What if that is a playoff of their name? Oh, uh, what if the children of Bottom were the oh, children that were murdered and that's in the lake? The name. And what if this song, which is called Every Time I Die, Ah, dude, ooh, that could be a big tie-in right we there. We might be going a little too deep into <laughs> maybe, that. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but that could be what it, this that is about. It's possible. Huh. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah. Now, I want to know, what do you do where you die every time you do it? See, I relate. I, I equate that to video games. Mm. You know, yeah. every time you die. Every time you play a video game, you die, basically. Yeah, I mean, Sometimes, in, World multiple of, times. in World of Warcraft, I don't die often. Uh, okay. I got I to gotta be a little cocky here. And, there, and <laughs> the new Shadowlands World of Warcraft, it's pretty hard to beat me. But maybe Children of Bottom are like, I'm not that great at video games. So, so every, every time, time I, I play, die. I die. <laughs> and it's getting old here. I'm tired of dying, man. <laughs> Come on, dude! I remember like paying, like playing like Street Fighter with like my friends or my cousins <laughs> back in the day. And I'm I used to be the master. I still am a beast of Street Fighter, mm -hmm. but I, I I'm like you pick my character. You Please pick. don't tell me you just spammed buttons. No, I am not. That see that's that's not how you play. Exactly. I mean I know how to play. Yeah. So when that they're playing me like my little cousins, I'm picking Akuma and I'm hitting with five raging demons in the air, and they're like, man, come on, man, you always winning. I'm like, I can't let you win man i to me that I, that's dishonorable dude there's me. an old saying um i can't remember exactly how it goes and i can't remember who to attribute it to but it, it was something about um the greatest fighter in the world doesn't fear the second greatest fighter in the world the greatest fighter in the world fears the unorthodox fighter the one who doesn't know the craft hmm. and you could say that with video games because you could be this expert, but get screwed up by some dude that just sits there and spams one button over and over and over. And that happens. That yeah. happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. But say that again. The greatest... The greatest fighter in the world doesn't fear the second greatest fighter in the world. He fears the unorthodox fighter. Hmm. Yeah, like in Rocky, where uh, Apollo, you know, the, the Apollo's manager was like... I don't know, because Rocky wasn't a ranked fighter, you know, he was just the amateur fighter, you know, and he's like, I don't know, you don't need to be fighting those Southpaws, mm. and they didn't have no tape to study on them, so. Or probably then, any sparring partners. Yeah. How mad would you be if I told you I've never seen a Rocky movie? Oh, 
I'm sorry, man. I all the, like I've never seen Goodfellas. Really? I've never seen Godfather. Wow. If you say you haven't seen Scarface, I'm leaving. I've seen Scarface. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say that's one I have seen. <laughs> I have seen Scarface. All right. But uh, of course, Tony down Of course. But um, no, man, that's a that's a pretty interesting phrase that you said there, man. Because I mean, the unor like. Habib Nurmagomedov is one of the greatest fighters to ever bless the octagon. Mm -hmm. And they were like, there's no, a lot of people are saying there's no one that's going to beat him. Mm -hmm. But there's always that chance. There's mm -hmm. always a fluke that anyone. That Buster Douglas that pops up. You yeah. Know? Um, a good example is, um, man, see, I know you can talk football and me going with fight. And it's just like when Ben Askren fought Jorge Masvidal, mm -hmm. everybody thought Ben Askren was going to give Jorge Masvidal some sort of a challenge. Mm -hmm. But because Jorge Masvidal studied the tape, Ben Askren being a wrestler, he knows that if I'm going to charge you, nine times out of ten, you're going to try to grab shoot. me. Yeah. So I, after studying, after sparring, he's like, he's going to shoot every time I go. So knee to the head, yeah. game over. Yeah, that's what I would think. Either knee or uppercut right when he chose to yeah, shoot. Yeah. Make sure you get them feet back. <laughs> Real quick though, do you what kind of music you think? Man, oh I, I wanna say some newer age just heavy, heavy stuff. Some hardcore maybe or or just some really heavy metal. You know. I'm gonna go out the just go out of our normal normal realm, uh -huh. and I'm gonna say go go, go go. go, go. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I mean, hey, <laughs> right. it's gonna be girls in the cages dancing. I mean, hey, <laughs> with really high boots on. I don't even know what go go music is. I, I know I it's don't, a DC uh, thing, but it's it's old school. I mean, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you who were the biggest artists in go-go music. <laughs> Y'all, that's what you guys are <laughs> Yeah. Shmoda! Hold up. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Oh. You might have been right. <laughs> Maybe so. It's got a good rhythm, though. That's oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like some groove back. That is chunky. Dude, that's fire. Oh. oh wow. We just broke it way down. Grim <laughs> hey. Reaper, right? Yeah. That guitar is sick. Dang, that melody is fire. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. Jeez. <laughs> God, that guitar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Is that really how it is? It has a handle on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. You needed to swing to chop yeah. the... That's fire. Yeah, it is. He looks like he doesn't belong in that band. He I looks so much it. younger than the other guys. It does. <laughs> He's got a voice. Dang. Mm. Well. Not bad, man. Not bad. I do have a question, though. What's your question? Have you noticed, like, a running theme amongst the videos of the darker, more, I mean, metal artists, but the heavier ones, the, the darker ones? You know, and I'm not saying these guys are like really. This is not like you know death metal or anything. I mean, at least it doesn't seem to be on the outside. Maybe they get more into it, but if you notice the forest themes, amongst yeah, them, they're all in the woods. Like not all of them, but a lot of them. A lot. They love to do their videos in the in the woods. You know. What do you think that's about? I don't know. Maybe it's the darkness of the forest. You know, a lot of. Like, a lot of, um, like, the killer movies, you know, Jason and Freddy and stuff like that, they take place in the woods, you know? And You could say that's the place with the most life, though. Yeah. I mean, there's the most life in the forest. Mm Mm-hmm. But, but I, yeah, you usually don't see them in a city or anything like that. You, know? <laughs> you don't see them like with, you know, at playgrounds. Ah, maybe you might, you might, you might. I mean, maybe ironically or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, but the whole, damn, that is that's a good question there. I yeah. mean, it may, seems I'm, to be a theme, a running theme amongst them. You know, if you if you equate it to, uh, or if you try to, you know, throw the, I wouldn't say hip hop, but any genre i guess it's an easy quick cheap simple backdrop yeah, it is it really is yeah so you don't have to go spend hundreds and millions of dollars to for rent this. out of space right when you, you can just, just go, go in the woods exactly yeah i mean but with this band here i gotta mm-hmm. I, I got some things i need to say well let me ask you first what 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 era what time era Man, I don't see the music sounded almost like it was that early heavy metal era, but the vocals were more of a later right. you know, time period. Right. I, I'm guessing this is something in the 2010s. Dang, man! But see, it's hard to tell. It is because the sound, you know, the the guitars and and the, the music itself sounded like it was from an earlier heavy metal era, but but the you know the. You really didn't see a lot of the deep growling vocals until, you know, two thousands and up, you know. Dang, that's a good question. When did that become a trend? When did that become a thing? Yeah, I think I mean I think there was probably some of the really dark black metal artists doing it in the nineties and so forth, but Huh. Okay. Hey, now I got a question for the trash talkers. Who would who would who who did metal bands attribute to the godfather or the originator or the you know the inventor of growling of the growling yeah who That's is a good that question guy. yeah and have we done that guy or that band? yeah exactly because we've heard of like like a lot of the older artists that'll scream but we we didn't really get into the growling until the 90s right. and later who was the yeah, first who i would, would you, like to know that who was the first that you would say or that you've seen i guess Me? you know when we talked about the the invention of heavy metal you know some people of course, you got a Black Sabbath here that basically officially just, started it. Just about to say that. But, you know, people say that um, 
Helter Skelter by the Beatles, you know, was one of the first heavy metal songs. You know, we we did that with rap too. You know, mm-hmm. some people attribute the first rap song to Blondie. Blondie. You know, I could show y'all a video of the 1950s <laughs> the right 50s, now where yeah. the dude snap. Oh, like, he did too. That was crazy. <laughs> and the heaven and the gold. <laughs> yeah. That dude was killing it. He <laughs> <It> was. <laughs> Drop a trap beat over it. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's a good question. I'd like to know that. Who who started the whole growling phenomena? Huh. That's what we have you guys for, man. Mm-hmm. Um, Poison. I, I, coincidentally, your name's Poison, and yeah, I think I asked you. Is it Poison? Yeah, it's a band. Is it hair metal though? Or? It was there in the hair metal era. I mean, I guess you guys can decipher whether they belonged in the heavy or hair metal genre, mm-hmm. or if they did something a little outside, but. Yeah, that's or a, glam metal. Glam, yeah. You know. That's the thing about today. I love so much, man. That the power of the internet. You can, I promise you, there's there's probably still a band that makes like 1940s music. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love for that. Sure, yeah, dude, I saw that too. I mean, when you start getting into like some of the folk music of today, right? Like, there's some bands you could have swore would have been huge hits in the 50s, you know, <laughs> uh, the 40s and 50s, and like, and they're still doing. It. I mean, these are 20 year old kids doing this music, you know, right? It's, folk is big, like folk and uh, country western, like that stuff is big in Canada. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I think we could be a little narrow minded in the states, or maybe just me and you. That you know, we we're on, we only know what you know. You know, mm-hmm. we know rap, we know metal, we know you know the, what we know what we know. Mm-hmm. But you go to some random place in the middle of nowhere, and the number one jam might just be like the girl from um. Highling just tapping bones. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that yeah, might exactly. be the, the yeah. song. Yeah. They're bumping it on the radio, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> hey, hey, bro, you ever heard, you heard that new song, Click, Click? Yeah, <laughs> man, it's jamming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all, any more suggestions by Children of Bottom? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah. Send them on because I, I'm interested to see some more. Definitely, definitely. With that being said, my name's Barringer Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Rappers React today. If you want to see another artist that we covered, it's right over here. If you want to see the last video we did, it's right over here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do this for you. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you will. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.